Well, hello there. Today, I want to bust some myths about morning routines, plus share the reason that they do not work. In fact, I would like to change the name of morning routine altogether, but I will tell you more about that in just a second. Have you ever started a morning routine? Or are you currently using a routine and maybe want to improve it a little bit? Or perhaps you're in the research stage and you want to learn how a morning routine can help you. Whatever your reason for being here, I will be talking about the best time to start your day, what you need to include in your morning routine, and the biggest reason that morning routines don't work. <sighs> what time should you start your day? The earlier the better, right? Get up and get hustling, right? Wrong. <gasps> you should start your day at a time that works with your commitments and lifestyle. Personally, I am not a morning person. The idea of fasted cardio at 4.30 a.m. has zero appeal to me. First, because my main goals aren't fitness specific. Don't get me wrong, I do body work daily and wellness is a major priority, but it's not the definition of life for me. And secondly, why be up at the ungodly hour of 4.30 a.m. when my body fights every suggestion of the idea? My husband and I love our late evenings and we have so much productive idea time in those periods. There's no way I'm going to change that around to be in bed for 8, 8 p.m. for that ridiculous early morning start. I'm suggesting that the start of your day should be whenever you need it to be. As long as you have enough time to do your start of day routine, prepare yourself and safely travel to whatever your destination is, well, then that's when you should rise. So rather than call it a productive morning routine, implying that you need to start hustling from the moment you open your eyes, maybe instead we should begin to call it the ideal start of day at a pace you enjoy routine. <laughs> How does that sound? Does that make sense to you? Would you agree that each person should pick their start of day based on their individual needs and wants? Tell me what time your day starts in the comments. <laughs> Now, do you want to know what you should include in your start of day routine? Also, hang in there for the reason why morning routines do not work. All right. Now let's talk about what you need to include in your start of day routine. Hopefully my last point gave you a tiny hint about this next step. What you include in your start of day routine is your choice. If you love the idea of jumping out of bed and going for a bike ride or for a run, then do it. If you want to get up and spend time reading a book, then do it. Personally, I love getting up and doing my morning affirmations. It helps me get my mindset ready to tackle everything and anything. It reminds me of all the intentions and goals that I've set, and it keeps me focused and positive. I used to roll out of bed with a grumpy caveman mentality and stumble through life angry and resentful over anything that didn't go my way. Starting my day with affirmations, reading from one of my books, and then doing my flexibility yoga routine is the ideal start for me. Now that the world is the way it is, my children homeschool, so we are no longer running out the door in the morning, stressed out and always late. We've created a start of day routine that nurtures and works for us. What are the activities that you already know serve you well in your start of day routine? Share them with the rest of us in the comments. <clears throat> Now, I am so glad that you have hung in with me for the reason that morning routines do not work. Just before I get to that, I want to invite you to join my 21 day unbreakable abundance challenge where I teach women how to have a positive mindset regardless of the challenges that they are facing. We like to call ourselves fearless masters of freaking optimism or mofos for short. Sounds a little tougher or something, you know? <laughs> All right. Now for the reason that morning routines don't work. As we already talked about, the honest truth is that the routine must be catered to your specific needs and desires. If like me, you are not a morning person, then fasted cardio at 4.30 a.m. will just make you want to die. <laughs> JK, just kidding. Not to be dramatic, but it's so crucial to embrace your natural personality and tendencies. Yes, yes, you must have discipline and routines, but why cause unnecessary suffering? 
each time I began a new program in the past from a different success coach, there was always a suggested morning routine. Not a single one ever helped me in the way that my current routine does. I've carefully selected the things to include and leave out, and now I enjoy the most wonderful mornings that I have ever had in my entire life. So to be clear, the reason the morning routines do not typically work is that we are filling those routines with tasks other people are assigning. We need to carefully select our own routine so that it supports us in the best possible way. After all, it's your life. Shouldn't you enjoy living it? Type I want to enjoy my morning. <laughs> I want to enjoy my mornings in the comments if you agree. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining me to bust myths about morning routines. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and I will see you again soon, my darling.